All right, guys, so today's video, we're going to look at the Ember Wave. The first thing I wanna point out is this is not like any other product we've had on this channel. So what this thing does and the way it's marketed, it's even marketing itself is having your own personal thermostat. This thing is supposed to allow you to have control over your body temperature. That right there is what had me intrigued and that's what had me want to try this out on this channel. First off, before anything is, this device retails for $300. So I'm probably right there lost a lot of you. That's expensive, but is it really expensive if you have the ability to control your body temperature? If you're somebody that gets hot all the time and just wish that you could have that kind of control to cool yourself down, maybe it is worth it. All right, so the first thing we need to do, let's go ahead and check out what's in the box. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the science behind this, how this works, and let's see if it actually does work. So inside the box is pretty simple. You get the device itself, which essentially looks like a smartwatch. It even comes with a band that looks like one of the bands for the Apple Watch. Um, and it's a device you just wear on your wrist, but we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, it comes with micro USB cable for charging, and then it comes with a small pouch. So the science behind this and the way to the best way to explain this, because I had to look it up to even see how this was possible, how they were even saying that this is something that could happen. So the technical scientific terms behind this is this is a thermoelectric module. This sits on the bottom of the device um, and this is the part that touches your skin. So this part right here is essentially sending cold or heat through your body. And the way that it's doing it and the way that they make this work is there are certain spots on your body that are sensitive areas. So this part on your wrist is considered a sensitive area. When heat or cool or whatever hits this spot, it's hitting these things that are called thermoceptors. Which basically what they do, because I had to look that up too, is they send signals to your brain to basically let you know that there are cold or hot waves going through your body. So what this thing is doing is essentially tricking your body to think that it's colder or it's warmer than it really is anyway, which essentially is going to your brain and your brain controls everything. So this will make you feel colder or warmer if the technology works right. So the way you wear this is you wear it on your wrist, uh, just like any smartwatch, except instead of wearing the device on the top, you wear it on the bottom. Now, I did find at times, like if I'm at my desk, if I'm in front of a keyboard or using my mouse, I can't wear this thing on the bottom. Like, it's uncomfortable. It's pushing in because my wrist is resting on the desk. I did find that I could use this on the top of my wrist, but it is definitely more effective on the bottom. Now, what you wanna do first, before anything, is download the app. Now, it's not necessary. You can use this thing straight out of the box without the app, but the app is giving you more control and it's making this thing work more the way it's supposed to than the way it would right out of the box. And I'll explain that. Like, if you pick this up and you put it on your wrist, you have one button on the top. Touch it in the middle, it turns it on. You have a cold side and a hot side, just red and blue. If you want it colder, simply tap the one side. And what it does is it does it in quick bursts. That's like the default mode here. So like for five minutes, it's sending these waves of kind of a neutral feel to slightly cold to colder to really cold. And so it kind of just keeps that process going for five minutes. And so it's doing that in bursts to send those waves up to your brain to cool your body down. Now I found like the five minutes, that's not doing it. Like that kind of makes you feel cold a little bit right here and that's it. I found the way that this thing really works is to bump it up for longer sessions and that you have to do in the app. The app also allows you to unlock like an extreme heat mode where you can get it even warmer. Other things in the app is it says, like if you have it at zero, you can set it to where you want your body temperature to be 10 degrees cooler, 10 degrees warmer. It's trying to give it to where it's like a precise temperature. Now I can't really speak for how that exactly works because I have no way to really judge what my body temperature is. As far as battery life, there's no exact measurement. Uh, they say it's good for about 30 cycles. Um, I can see if you're in a hot environment, 30 cycles you could go through in a day. 
Um, if you're not somebody that's gonna just hit this thing all the time, you could go a week. So the battery life on this is really hard to gauge. But if you're using the app, it does send you a notification if the battery life is getting low. So with the different modes like I talked about, I found that you know somewhere between 15 minutes to 30 minutes was much more useful. Um, it also has a night mode that you can switch this to. So if you're gonna wear it to bed, um, it's like 35 minutes, but it does it in longer waves. It's more of a calming, feature um, and it's easier to go to sleep that way. So who is this thing for? Well, it's for anybody that gets hot or cold, but more so for like, if you know you're going to an event, you're gonna be outside, you're gonna get hot. Or let's say that you work in an office that's like really cold all the time and you have no control over the thermostat. In fact, there's some businesses that don't allow you to take like little space heaters. So you have no way of warming up. And if it's possible to have this thing on your wrist, just hit a button and then just have that feeling of getting warmer, that alone might justify the price for some people. So just like you guys right now, I went into this really skeptical. Like just to think that you can have this thing on your wrist and have the ability to control your body temperature just to me sounds like crazy. Like I wouldn't even think, I'm glad somebody thought about it, but I wouldn't think this is possible. So the first thing I went in thinking was, okay, I better hit this button and I should immediately just feel cold. And that's not how this thing works. You can immediately feel that it is cold, but you have to look at it this way. Like if you left the house in the morning and you just had your air conditioner turned off, when you came home in the afternoon, it's gonna be a lot warmer than you're used to. Let's just say it got 10 degrees warmer in your house. Well, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your air conditioner and turn it down and bump it down 10 degrees cooler than what it is. And you guys know like it doesn't immediately just get cold. It doesn't hit that temperature right away. It's blowing cold air and it just gradually takes time to get it down to where you want it. And essentially that's exactly how this thing works, but on your body. It's sending this slow pulsing waves that is gradually getting to your brain that's gradually spreading across your body. Now, I'm not gonna say that I felt like my body got 10 degrees cooler, but it is a noticeable difference. Like if you can, if you can just wear something that at any given time you can just hit a button and you just feel that little bit of warmth then gradually getting warmer, that can come in handy in a lot of different cases. So as skeptical as I went into this thing, and this it's it's not perfect. Uh, the Ember Wave um, comes with this one band, and a guy that I work with has a wrist that's slightly bigger than mine, and it didn't fit him. So I really think there needs to be additional bands in the box, and maybe even more options, because there may be people that just want to wear this thing all the time. So ultimately, I can't say whether it's worth it or not, because I guess that really kind of depends on the person. But I can say that it does work just understand its limitations, understand that you're just not hitting a button and your body's immediately dropping to this temperature that you set it at. It doesn't work that way. So for the price of a smartwatch, to get a device that simply just does that may be hard for some people to justify. And I can honestly say for like me alone, it would be kind of hard for me to justify, um, but maybe for somebody like my wife who's freezing all the time, it could well be worth the $300 to her. So I'm here to simply say the Ember Wave does work. It's mind blowing that this device does work, period. But guys, that is my video on the Ember Wave. It's a unique, interesting product that I honestly just felt was worth sharing with you guys. But anyway, thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.